All right, all right, all right. Thank you for joining us back here today on Just Conspiracy. We have been talking about church and court and court and church. And we got a reason to be celebrating today, brothers and sisters. Because on this past Tuesday, on Tuesday, April 27th, Greg Newman was removed from office. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Whew. So I just, I just been having this weighing on my heart. I just felt like, like I had to come and bring it to my people. That man out there, he told me, he was like, Son, you got to go take them the truth. You got to minister to my children. And I was like, okay, man. I can do that. You know what? I have said time and time again, for somebody to show me in the Bible, where God told somebody to go do something they wanted to do it, I guess this is that time. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I've had this on my heart, and it's, it's Matthew 18, is what I will be reading from, the KJV, because that's how I roll, and uh, please, follow along, we'd love to have you here on this journey, it starts off talking about at the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Well, that's, that's one way to start off a Bible chapter. Who's the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called the little children unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, Verily, pay attention to that word, verily, because it kind of looks a lot like verse or verify. You think that's a coincidence? You think so? think so, maybe. Verily, I say unto you, except ye be converted. Except for y'all to be converted. And become as little children. Ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So I'm telling everybody. Except for the ones that have been converted. And their heart is like a little child's. I'm telling all of y'all. You ain't gonna enter into the kingdom of, of heaven. Not my father. Uh-uh. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Well, shoot, there's your answer right there. I mean, they started off this chapter, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And man, by verse 4, they give you the answer. For real? Is that easy? Child. Whoever acts like a child in their heart, and their spirit, and their soul. Ye shall be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Thank you for the answer, man. And whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. What? You mean all I got to do is be good to children? And I'm being good to I'm being good to God? Sounds pretty simple to me. Seem like some step-by-step -step instructions. Let's keep reading. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a milestone were hung about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea so let me get this right let me get this right being good 
to children, good things, greatest in the kingdom of heaven, being bad, and I'd rather be hung down at the depth of the ocean? <laughs> Seems like a pretty simple choice to me. <laughs> Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. The offense cometh. And what I really like about this is the spacing of the explanation point. Because you'll always see that the period is right behind the word. I find that stuff interesting. I'm sure it has no meaning at all. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So don't, don't offend the children. Don't offend the children. And I was so shocked. I was so shocked to hear this. And, and because I always, when, I, when I'm kind of debating somebody about the Bible like a Christian, every now and then I'm like, where in the Bible does it talk about hell? Never found it. Guess what? Guess what, my friends? I have found it. I have found it. It's Matthew 18, 9. Check this out. And if thy eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee, it is better for thee to Enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. Hell fire. I stand corrected. I have found the word hell in the Bible. Whew. That's deep. Whew. Where was I? Well, where was I after the hell fire? After the hellfire, I do believe so. And it says right here, starting back at 14. Even so, it is not the will of your Father, which is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. Not one little one should perish. Not one child. Not one baby. Moreover... If that brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. And so basically what this is saying right here is it's saying, when you got a problem, when you got a problem with somebody, you go to that individual. A real man, a real woman goes to that individual and says, hey, here's the problem. Here's the situation. Can we work it out? That's what real grown-ups do. I don't know about you, but that's what I try to do. And sometimes, sometimes it just gets so bad, there just, they're just ain't no working it out with words. So say you can't work it out with them. What do you do next? Because this book is full of some really good knowledge. But if he will not hear thee, okay, so he's not come, becoming my brother, he's not hearing me, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. So, so what do you do if, if he's not like being moral, being honorable, doing the right thing, making it right with somebody who had been done wrong. What do you do if that happens? You go down with two witnesses and you try and settle it again. And you want to know why you go down with two witnesses? Because in law, if three people witness the same set of facts, same evidence, they all testify to it, that places a fact upon the record of the court. This is just another court. Church is just another court <laughs> all right let's keep going tell it unto the church okay so so we already got past taking two or three witnesses and if he shall neglect to hear them tell it unto the church but if he neglect to hear the church 
Okay, so so if he doesn't do the right thing when you got the two or three witnesses, now you take it to the church. Now you take it to the congregation. Why? To shame somebody who did wrong. That's why. That's the next court up. That's the next court up if he don't listen to y'all. Now, if he don't listen to the church, if the church rules in your favor, and he don't listen to the church, then what do you do? But if he neglect to hear the church, probably because he ain't got God in sight, probably, let him be unto thee as a heathen man, a Gentile, and a publican. All right, well, I know that I've looked up publican before because that's a tax collector. I've had that. And, and heathen is like a Gentile. Gentile and heathen are almost interchangeable. And they were, you know, the other people who worship not one God but many. Yeah, yes, so. Yes, so that is that is what my research has showeth. Yes, so. And uh and so how how does the tax man, the heathen and the Gentile, what do they do? Oh, Oh, you know what? That's when you're supposed to take it down to one of these state courts. That, that's that's one of them secular things. You know, they worship all them statutes. You know, they're, they're God's law. They worship down there. But see, th this law is supposed to be the superior law. And it's not because the people fell asleep. <laughs> it's really just that simple. All right, let's let's see what happens here. So after after he tells you that whole process, that whole process in law from this good book. See, it even says right up here at the top. He says he teaches how we are to deal with our brethren when they offend us. Right there, step by step instructions. Can I get an amen? All right. Verily. Now there's that word again. Verily. Verify. Verse. I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. Somebody hit the brakes on these uh, instructions right here. We got a problem. Whoa, you mean, you mean whatever we do here on earth is going to bind us in heaven? And if we lose the law here on earth, we lose that law in heaven? I don't know about you, but I think that's what I just read. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Woo you mean only two or three of us got to be together in this conspiracy? <laughs> okay, okay, Dad, I think, I, I think we got that. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. I, I think that's all I got from there. So let's go down to... You know, I'm always trying to save you time, so we're just going to hop down a couple and skip to 23. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king which would take account of his servants or settle accounts with his servants. He was accountable to his servants. That's an honorable thing to be. And when he had begun to reckon one was brought unto him, which owed him 10,000 talents. 10,000 talents. Now, that's an interesting word to use, talents. 10,000 talents or 10,000 talents. I had to look it up, and it is a sum of money. An unspecified sum, but I'm sure that they knew right back when they were writing this. I'm sure it was like a dollar or something. All right. <clears throat> but... For as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife, and children, and all that he had, 
and payment to be made. That's pretty harsh. <laughs> you owe me a bunch of money. Go sell your wife and your kids. Come back and pay me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Got a heart? <laughs> Uh, the servants therefore fell down and worshipped him. Worshipped. Worshipped. Now isn't it one of the Ten Commandments? Thou shalt not have any other gods before Lord thy God. He worships him. Saying, Lord. And this ain't a Lord. This is, just, this is just a person. Have patience with me. And I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with the compassion and loosened him and forgave him the debt. He said, well, since you're going to worship me, I'll let you go. You can have your wife and your children because you worship me. Hmm. Hmm. And then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion. Oh, I already read that. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him a hundred pence. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. Pay me now. Where's my money check, man? I don't know you. Same time, same time. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, saying, Have patience with me. Oh, so he didn't, he didn't worship him. He besought him. He didn't worship him. You see, this servant didn't worship the Lord, the person that he owed money to. He didn't worship him. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt. So what, what happened because he didn't worship that Lord, that, that person Lord? He got thrown into jail. Because that happens sometimes when your heart stays true to Jesus. Don't we know that's the truth? And sometimes the people who throw people in jail, they be the real wicked ones. Like... Greg Newman. <laughs> For real. All right, where was I? Where was I? So when he, his fellow servants, saw what was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that, he called him, said unto him, O oh, thou wickedest servant, I forgave thee all that debt because thou desirest me, because thou desirest me, because thou worships me. I forgave all your debt, but now you're going to come here and you're going to tell me, you're going to tell your God that you did something wrong. Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? Shouldn't you have compassion on your fellow servant, just like I had pity on you? Shouldn't you pity them, what they're going through, rather than bringing it to me, to my attention, saying I did something wrong. And his Lord was wrath and delivered him to the tormentors, the jailers, the tormentors, the people paid by the government to harass you, the tormentors. Till he should pay all that was due unto him. Hmm. What do you think? Do you think this man should have confronted his Lord? Should have confronted the Lord person and been like, hey man, 
You let me off real easy. Why'd you do that to him? That's kind of messed up. Well, did you ever think that if he didn't do that to a few people, maybe nobody would pay him? Did that thought ever cross your mind? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not everyone his brother their trespasses. Hmm. That's the way to end it too. Makes you think a little bit. Makes you think a little bit. And you know what I think? I think here's what it's saying. I think it's saying that if the people are godless and they worship Lord persons, then the Heavenly Father is going to let them have Lord persons. <laughs> but if the people, <coughs> if the people are righteous in their hearts, and they follow ministers, instead of worshiping Lord persons, they follow minister persons, maybe. Maybe things be all right. Maybe things would be all right. I just don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I look at this. I read these instructions and law that come out of this book. And this is the law of the Father. This is the law of 2,000 years ago. Supported by the laws of, A of uh, Moses. Not Abraham, Moses. I bet Abraham would have some pretty similar laws. <clears throat> and they talk about, don't be bad to children. And it's not just enough that you're good to children, but you got to make sure other people aren't bad to children too. You got to stop these offenses because whoever causes the offense would rather have really bad things happen to them than what, what might be happening to them, I would imagine. So you got to help protect these children. And Jessica Hodge is out in Oregon. She's going she's gonna to require our help because she heard this law. She heard this law and you know what she's going to do? She has tried working some things out in the private and she is going to go down and see if the court house will uphold law for her. See if she can swear out a warrant when somebody files a false police report against her for harassment. A false police report that they filed against her for harassment probably because there was a YouTube video where they were given false testimony in a courtroom. But well, she's going to follow the law of this book. And she's going to see if they're going to honor that down at the courthouse. And I hope you follow us for this journey. Because we got, we got to do something here. I don't know about you, but I would much rather live in the kingdom of heaven and be the greatest because I'm Gonna be really awesome to little kids because this book told me to. Little children, little youngins, you know, just like the same reason I'm trying to create a better world for my own. I'd much rather do that than this whole hellfire thing that I'm so glad I found. Yeah, I'd much rather do that because right now, with the decisions we make, we're building the future 
our children are going to live in. And in this book, in this book, the father's saying, he's saying, if two or more of you get together and y'all create a plan, y'all have a dream, you see some stuff happening in your mind's eye, <coughs> he might not deny you. In fact, the book says, the book says he'll give it to you. I don't know how true that is, but I figure in this world it's worth a shot. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everybody sticks around. We're going to have an interview with the wonderful, beautiful, very intelligent and sophisticated VO. She is an adult now, so I hope everybody sticks around for that. We also got to keep following up uh, on our little angel there, Angela Freiner, and find, find her daughter. We got to make sure that, that turns out all right, because we still don't know. And we got we to gotta watch what's going on with Mimi. And if we can conspire to watch Jessica, Vio, Angela, and Mimi, and maybe see some good things happen, like Greg Newman getting removed, <laughs> maybe, just maybe, we can create a better future for our, for our offspring. I am just conspiracy and I just wish to conspire. We are. We are just conspiracy. And we just wish to conspire with all you good people of this earth. I wish to build a better world for future generations and the world we all grew up in. Definitely better than the world we got now. One world love and peace.